What up? This is Rap History. So here's the real reason why Rap City was canceled. And I can explain that in two words. Deborah Lee. Yeah, that's why I made plenty of videos. You're going to have to check my previous videos where I'm explaining what's going on with BET. Deborah Lee ended up taking over BET around, it must have been 2008. And that's the same year Rap City was canceled. And a whole lot of other stuff was canceled off of BET. As soon as she took over, she made BET in her image. And I believe she was the reason why Tyler Perry almost took over BET, which would have been probably worse than her. You know, so we have this woke, you know, I don't I don't want to get into too much disrespect, but basically Deborah Lee is a problem for BET. And I really want to see her leave the network and be replaced with somebody that's more in tune with the culture. She has her own ideas and philosophies about life and it's women based. It's, you know, it's her, her, her attitude about, you know, a lot of the shows is just in a generation that isn't really relevant to, you know, what people want to see. So she has her own personal taste. And I think she's trashed the company ever since she's taken over BET. She needs to leave. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, the network is total trash because I do appreciate the BET Hip Hop Awards and the BET Awards and stuff like that. But really, Deborah Lee is not fit for that company. Even the BT Hip Hop Awards was kind of trash. I mean, it could could have been much better, is what I should say. It could have been way better than that. I think she focuses a lot on women. So all we see really on the BT Hip Hop Awards now is women rappers. And, you know, I mean, nothing against women rappers or nothing, but it's just Deborah Lee is one of those where this is what she's all about. So you're going to see a whole lot of stuff on BET cater to a certain community when it comes to BET now just cuz of her just cuz of Deborah Lee so and she's she's against rap it seems like like that was the problem if you saw the rap hits i mean the rap city documentary BET was against rap when they first started it took a lot for them to realize that rap was the way and rap helped build the company to what it is today and then they turn their back on rap after they got theirs. You know, after BET got theirs from rap, they turned their back on rap. Because really, like a lot of the hosts were saying, it seemed like Rap City should have been around forever on BET. And they really owed it to Rap City to be around forever. And, you know, they had the booth. And I know things change with the internet and stuff, but really, I think there was a place for Rap City much longer than 2008. I think it could have went on for another 10 years at least. Personally, I think it could have been something to where it could have just kept going. And I believe Deborah Lee probably is responsible for 106 and Park getting canceled too. She pretty much canceled everything anyone wanted to see on BET and turned it into her own personal thing. And, you know, she is like a gospel type lady that, you know, it's almost like Dolores Tucker, who Tupac was having issues with because she was against rap as well. It almost sound, it almost seems like she's kind of like a Dolores Tucker, Deborah Lee, where, you know, she's against rap. She's not hip. You know, she's she's stuck in the 70s or whatever. Her all her favorite artists are like Patti LaBelle and. You know, Aretha Franklin and stuff like that. And Tyler Perry is her absolute favorite. Like, she really is trying to put Tyler Perry in charge of BET. Like I said, that's horrible. That's a horrible decision. I'm glad he didn't get the job as the new director of CEO because he almost bought it out. And so hopefully somebody else can get in there because, like, really, there was a lot of other good potential people to take over BT. I hope somebody else does that because Deborah Lee has been holding back the network for over a decade now and she really needs to go. Hopefully she can somehow get fired or something. But yeah, I don't appreciate what she did to the network. I don't appreciate her canceling 
Rap City, The Basement. I don't appreciate her canceling a whole bunch of stuff. And really, I think she's trashed the network. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This has been Rap Hits. Check the description box for much more. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm out of here.